Hello everyone, welcome to Astral Luck and today we are going to do a pick a card reading message from your Ascendant Masters. So we have four piles as usual, pile 1, pile 2, pile 3 and pile 4. So I hope you will choose the right pile for yourself. And I'll start reading for pile 1 now. And there's a lot of cards that I've picked up for each pile. So your Ascendant Master is Apollo. Apollo. He is bringing the message of strength to you. And he is saying that uh, it is nice to be uh, strategic. But... Innocence has its own charm, so uh, be more innocent right now. Things will work out for in your favor because of your innocence. If you act very strategically, you might lose few battles. If you act in an innocent way, you will surprise yourself. The very next message is two of swords. You are confused between something and you are... You, trying to go around this confusion in a very strategic way, the way usually people would do to handle such a, a confusion. But the usual thing is not going to help you here. So take a step back, act in an innocent way. Imagine if you were a five-year-old kid and if you were presented with two opposite stream of thoughts, what would you have done? You would have cried or you would have uh, taken help from your parents or you would have just allowed things to happen. Think what would work for you the best. Can you ask for help? Can you be uh, innocently waiting for the right thing to happen? Or would you just run away from it? Or you would you cry? What would you do? Whatever you do, whatever you feel comfortable, just do that. And you will see that through that process, you will get the answer. If you are feeling pressured, there's no problem in crying. You will find the answer. So the next card is Page of Waters. It is saying that a new person enters your life. Someone who brings more ideas to your life. Someone who brings more uh, artistic solutions to your life so once you act out of uh, compassion and once you act in the way uh, a child would act you will see that someone will walk through the door to help you so then next card is sun how uh, nice it is to see the sun card in combination with the polo it's bringing back the message that you will have a, ho a happy outcome. There's nothing to worry about. Just don't do the usual thing. Uh, ask for the help from the right person. Or just act in an innocent way. People will take pity on you and come. Uh, pity is a very negative word in today's con day and age. But don't worry about that. Someone will come and rescue you. Then we have boundaries and caution. Somehow you have built a lot of boundaries around you. So this person around uh, you who wants to come in to help you is not finding easy to cross all those boundaries. That's the reason why an uh, innocent child would not judge anyone, would let anyone come and help him or her. So you, you have to let go of some boundaries, some inhibitions. Then we have mother healing alchemy. This person, whether this person is a male or female, don't worry about that. But the person is carrying some kind of nourishing energy, some kind of uh, motherly energy. If you have lost your mother, like me, this person is somewhere bringing some message, channeling some message in a very unknown way and you will only recognize maybe the person who's channeling the message will also not recognize will do something which would be almost like if my mother was around would she would do the same thing it would be something like that 
and then we have initiation and uh, count saint germain here so a new order will be set for you you will start something new and it would refresh it will let go of all the confusions and you would be more uh, good so the message here is to act in a innocent way let go of the boundaries allow the help to come and to help you start something new archangel raphael here talking about opening your heart chakra and also letting you move forward in life and then the arc of covenant you i see you having a very pleasant discussion over dinner with this person who will come in and it would be a very pleasant thing and this person w will be around you for a long time and i see that you will have repetitive uh, discussions incremental solutions one day after another you will see that you are improving and you will somehow enjoy the company you will not be burdened with this company that's what they are saying and finally we have the message of compassion that kill so people around you want to show compassion to you are you ready to take and accept that compassion in your life that's the final message that's uh the cards are telling you so it's a message that is very close to my heart because i often struggle to uh act in an innocent way because somewhere i <laughs> i don't know this third uh, i or the sixth sense constantly makes me judge a lot of people who i meet because i can see through a lot of things what how they are behaving and sometimes it happens to me is that when i someone genuinely comes to help me i'm so much in my own judgment that i sometimes take my time to accept that help and people have to be very patient with me to be helpful in my life i'm usually the one that i can take care of my own self what about you please let me know in the comments so let's start with pile 2 pile 2 this is your box angel dream oracle cards so you have hilarion health and healing so your message is all about health and healing and uh, the cards are telling that any kind of health issues that you had is getting resolved or you should start resolving it because this is the best time to resolve them so we have nine of cups which is saying that yes your wishes around health and healing will come true start making an effort that is the message that is very straight forward for you another oh you have all the water cards from tarot which is knight of cups or and the ace of cups it's almost like you are emotionally feeling content now and because of that emotional fulfillment you would be able to take care of health issues because most of our health issues uh, spring out of our emotional imbalance which imbalances all the chakra system here because the very first emotional imbalance would either strike on your solar plexus or your throat chakra and then slowly it starts affecting all your other chakras and then there is a health issue and now what i'm seeing here is that you are almost ready to take care of your solar plexus that's the first place to start and once you start uh, clearing your solar plexus chakra what will inherently happen is that it will slowly start healing all the chakras above and below and you would see the difference slowly and steadily so it is a good place to start with solar plexus chakra and it will help you the next card is fire which is talking about purification so, connecting it to the solar plexus chakra because i trust me i did not notice the card fire but i 
solar plexus chakra is always connected with the sun energy which is all about fire and purification so it might be a good idea to chant some kind of sun mantra or if you have a special prayer for sun just say that prayer or just hold your hands in the namaste position and uh, look at the sun in the daytime in early morning time in, and say a prayer of your choice you, whatever words come to your mind just say that and ask for clearing your or a clearing your vibration and making it pure and you'll see that the power of words will help you to clarify a lot of things in your life and slowly you'll see that it's also changing uh, old health issues into positive health manifestations then the next card is school which is saying that slowly and steadily you will learn the lessons of manifesting healthy habits in your life and you would slowly and steadily move forward in life without repeating the same old mistakes because we tend to get into patterns with, because our society and the work culture is such that we don't get enough time to take care of our body and we are in such a day and age that the moment we open YouTube or we open our television sets, we are lured by so many advertisements which are so un uh, with they are advertising so many unhealthy products for us, and we spoil our health. And I don't blame you for that. It's something that it's by design. If you don't fall for it, you won't be human. So don't worry about it. But if you cannot rectify those things after experiencing the bad effects, then there is a problem. And that's where uh, you have to now learn the lesson and not to repeat the same mistake again. You can have a very fresh new mistake. That's not a problem. You will learn from it. But don't repeat the same mistake. And that's what the cards are telling here is that the, the universe will ensure that you would not repeat the same mistakes again. And then we have setting your course. Uh, it's almost talking about creating deadlines and logical goals that six weeks down the line, I'm going to cut this small habit to improve my health. And then I'll make it a little more stringent. And as 12 weeks down the line, I'll be a little more better you will have some logical goals which are achievable, not that you will make unrealistic goals and you would then struggle keeping up with them. So you would create logical goals. Winged Messengers uh, is the next card which is telling that, of course, while you are creating those goals and trying to keep up with those goals, there is enough help coming from the heavens the angelic bodies out there are trying to keep a check on you and they're trying to guide you all the time and they will continue to do that in the beginning it would look like that what it's the paths unknown card what it's saying is that when you are about to start this journey of healing your health and taking care of your body it will look like it's a difficult task and for some of you who is going through a very uh, bad health issue for those it would be almost like an impossible thing astrolog is just reading his cards he doesn't know what i'm going through but trust me whenever uh, these cards show up and they are showing a path which looks like very different which looks like very unknown which looks like tough uh, there are angels to help you to walk. Only thing is that you need to surrender like a baby. Uh, remember when you wanted to walk as a baby, I'm sure none of us remember that, but we have seen other younger babies trying to walk and then the parents or the elders, whoever is trying to help them, the angels are going to do the same thing. But if you don't try to walk ahead, 
to take care of your health issues the angels are helpless so please make that move and you will see that there will be all the support all the guidance coming to you through different people around you because the angels will use the environment around you as an instrument to guide you so don't worry about that i am presence which is the next card which is telling me that yes the angels are constantly there for you to guide you however tough that is and i don't know if there's someone out there dealing with cancer because they particularly told me to say this like cancer and you will find your cure don't worry about that and i'm sending my prayers and wishes to you and help the gods and the angels are helping you right now so my prayers are meaningless because i'm very small in stature in front of these angels and gods who are already helping you but yet i j- just to add to that i would pray to them to help you even more so that's your reading pile 2 thank you so much and please let me know if it resonates with you and let me know if one of you for whom that last message was if you want to share your story privately or in the comment box either ways it is a great thing to know it would be motivating for me to keep doing what i'm doing here right now let's move on to pile 3 pile 3 what do you have you have two cards you have manjushri bringing the message to listen and then we have krishna finding the blessings in your current situation so the cards are telling that you are going in your own random path you are not listening to the vibrations of the universe you are not celebrating what you already have but you are panicking to receive something more but you need to hold down you need to stop right now you need to listen to what is being told to you what you you need to count what you already have you need to uh, enjoy what you already have because accumulating a lot of things and not using them is not helpful you are accumulating a whole lot of blessings but you are not using those blessings to enjoy your life you are wasting your life so that's the message from your universe so the very next message is seven of swords which is almost like if you are becoming so strategic in life to keep collecting things then you are also attracting lot of people who want to snatch away all the abundance that you have collected and it's unused because they see that you are not using it then they would say why not i use it why not i just snatch it away so be careful and hold on don't worry don't run don't rush into things you already have a lot of things in your hand try to finish them try to enjoy what you already have and then the gods are promising that they will give you more because they would be so happy to give you more because they already give given you so much but they are feeling little bad for you because you have forgotten to enjoy life and the next card is knight of fire which is more about asking you to go out for adventure create new passions new hobbies invest some time in knowing yourself you really need to know yourself right now and how to spend time with yourself maybe if you lock yourself without internet without any communication with anyone maybe throw your uh, devices outside and just lock yourself in a room for two or three hours try to spend time with yourself without sleeping without uh, talking to anyone you would get scared of your own self and that's a problem you need to solve this the next card is two of earths which is almost like 
an imbalanced situation where you have a lot of blessings on your side and you are still struggling. That's the imbalance here. And the next card is Osbidian, which is talking about grounding yourself, shielding, your, shielding yourself and coming out of the void that you have created in your life. You are such a blessed person that you need to keep moving forward in life while using all these blessings for your own good. The next card is Autumn, which is saying that more abundance has come to your way in the season of autumn. But now, during the fall, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, uh, you are supposed to enjoy the nature. You are supposed to enjoy your own self. I know fall is not the best time to go out in the nature, but still... You need to learn something from that. So you need to go out and spend some time in the nature. Hilarion. The next card is Hilarion, which is talking about that a lot of abundance that has come on your way is the blessings from your ancestors. And they are looking at you with a lot of pity that we have showered so much blessing on you, but what's the use of it they had gone through a tough life they could not enjoy a lot of things and now they are creating enjoyment for you and you're not willing to enjoy and they're like what a hopeless person are you i'm so sorry but this is what they're telling me to tell you so uh, and take a break take a like in india we have uh, advertisement, take a break, have a Kit Kat. So that's what I'm, they're telling me to tell you that enjoy life. Yeah, having Kit Kat is not healthy. If you want to, please go ahead and have a Kit Kat. Uh, but yeah, not in large quantities, it's not healthy, but enjoy your life. The Buddha prepares. So the Buddha always talks about taking the middle path. So that's what is required for you because right now you are chasing after something and you have accumulated a lot of uh, results and blessings and money and fortune, whatever it is. Uh, so you are neither using this, neither you are relaxing, you are not on the middle path. You are uh, creating imbalance in life as we saw here too of earth. So you have to create, find that middle path for yourself transform yourself it's the card number 13 card of death creating transformation and then archangel michael talking about it's talking about a certain kind of fear that you have for not able to stop because you feel that oh, everything will be lost if you stop and started enjoying life but what the uh, this card here bring the message of Archangel Michael is that that you are blessed and you are protected. Don't worry about it. Everything will be taken care for you. And then we have the card of romance. For some of you, you are running away from a possible romance. And the card is telling that open up and see the miracle happening. That's your reading, uh, Pile 3. I'm so sorry, I've been a little uh, harsh in the choice of words that I spoke, but honestly, I did not think through. It was what was told in my ears. I kept repeating that. So it was not my own words also, because I didn't plan to say such things. I usually refrain from saying <laughs> such harsh words, but sorry if I said something that offended you but that was the way it was told to me and it was strictly told to me that tell this exactly this way so i'm so so <laughs> i don't know what to say anymore so i'm moving on to pile four let's see what we have for pile four pile four we have paramhansa yogananda he's bringing the message of peace and also he Paramhanda, 
Paramhansa Yoga Nanda was quite famous for the way he spoke and the way he could take away filth. Uh, if you give him a pot of thoughts, some filthy thoughts, some good thoughts and some very neutral thoughts, all mixed up uh, and for a normal person it would be so difficult to separate them. He had that quality that he could separate the filthy thoughts and put them away. The neutral thoughts he would immediately cherish and the good thoughts and the positive thoughts he would look at them and slowly go through them because they are very infectious. Neutral thoughts are good. So he would immediately use them for his benefit. So what he's telling is that he is going to teach you the lesson of segregating all these thoughts in your mind and use these thoughts for your profit to benefit yourself. So he's going to teach you that. So and then there are some messages coming from different other cards, eight of uh, earth, eight of pentacles, which is like, you need to work very hard to channelize these lessons because it, it it would require practice. It it would be very easy to understand in theory, but to implement it in your life, to use the thoughts as a strength rather than weakness, or it requires a lot of practice. So what the cards are telling that what Yogananda Paramhansa is going to teach you will require a lot of practice in your life. And then the Knight of Earth saying that you have to put in dedicated effort. You cannot take a shortcut and it's going to reap a lot of material benefits for you. Surprisingly, you, like Pile 2 had all the cup cards, you have all the earth cards. With, so it's telling that the more you put in dedicated effort, the more financial and material benefits you will get as a result. And the rewards would be so huge that you would... Be surprised by yourself. So don't worry about anything and don't worry about losing anything. Just keep on putting your dedicated effort in this. And then we have Daydream, which is more talking about doing a lot of uh, imagination that you are always having positive and neutral thoughts more than positive, more neutral thoughts and slowly the positive thoughts will also transform themselves in a way that it, sometimes too much of positivity, too much of sweet is also bad, right? So uh, they will transform themselves in a more useful way and they will come to your mind in a more useful way. So have a very neutral way of uh, thinking and start imagining like sometimes we don't like someone, we imagine all bad things for them and we imagine all positive things for ourselves. It doesn't work. What you need to do is that you need to imagine all neutral things for the person whom you don't like. Like, yeah, let them have a nice life, let them do whatever they want and then let me also have good things in my life, let me also enjoy my life, that kind of thing in a very neutral way. Don't define what is a good thing for you. Don't define a, a, in a very exciting way that if I get this, it is the best thing that I can have. Don't define that. So the next card is water, which is talking about emotions. Initially, when you start practicing this habit, what the cards are telling is that you will be emotionally challenged because something that you have in habit for a very long time and you are trying to change that emotionally you will find it very difficult you will sometimes even burst out in a very bad way but then the cards are telling that don't do that because bursting out on others showing anger on others will also bring more frustration others frustration on your shoulder because they will get frustrated what what did I do? Why is this person shouting at me? And they will uh, lash back at you and you will have more burden on your shoulder. So be careful of emotional imbalances because it's bound to come when you start changing yourself. Then Archangel Gabriel, 
Archangel Gabriel is just saying that whenever you feel emotionally imbalanced, just think of me, remember me and I'll try to ground you and I'll try to bring back balance in your life. And then we have Uriel and the Phoenix, which is saying that you will become a renewed person and you would enjoy your life and you will come a full circle and you will for some reason uh, don't recognize your past anymore because you would not want anything of from your past and you would feel so content in your present and you will be so hopeful for your future that everything would be a bliss for you and then the card of friendship saying that you will manifest a lot of friendships in your life which would be lifelong and which would be so helpful and which would be so enjoyable for you after going through this whole exercise and practice. For some of you, it would be for uh, some 10 or 15 weeks. For some of you, it would be <laughs> 10 or 15 months. And for some of you, it would be two to three years. But don't take this as a big challenge. What they're telling here is that you will have bigger gifts and you will enjoy it and it's worth bringing that change in your life. So that's your reading. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, bye-bye and namaste.